today's topic is lichen what is lichen a lichen is the symbiotic interrelationships in between algae and fungi lichen the symbiotic relationship symbiotic relation in between algae and fungi so lichen made up of the two separate organisms which are known as algae and fungi the algal part of lichen is called thycobiont and the fungal part of lichen is called mycobiont now we learn about the classification of lichens lichen divided on the basis of habitat on the basis of fungal structure on the basis of internal structure and on the basis of structure on the basis of habitat on the basis of habitat in which the genes a lichen can belongs on the basis of habitat they can be classified in three types one corticles to saxicoles and three pericoles cortical means those type of lichens belongs into the temperate region temperate and this type of lichens belongs at the bark of tree bark of tree at in temperate region so corticles type of lichen found in temperate zone of earth in earth and the saxicoles found in the cold region in earth cold region in earth and it's found it is found only the stone on stone of colder region so now the tericoles tericoles found in the our region that is tropical region the hot and humid regions where the lichens this type of tericoles type of lichens are found that is hot and humid zone it is found on the in the soil that is stone soil and bark of tree now we learn about the according to the structure of fungal bodies in the lichens how many types of lichens are found now we discuss here on the basis of on the basis of fungi fungi 
the structure. On the basis of fungal structure. That is as full like a next basic do like a next due to like it as well as like in for the divided into two types that is gymnocarpy and pyrinocarpy structure on the basis of fungal structure like in divided in three types as to like in basic like in and due to like in oh, the like in body where the fungal type shows the push food body is as occur they are called is the as to like in yeah, where the fungal body is shows the food body is basic to occur that is basic to like in and other is due to like in now on the internal structure On the structure, on the basis of structure, like in classic head, four types that is lepros to clastos. That is foliage and fruticoge. Fruticoge. Another type is flamingos. The five types of lichen, according on the basis of structure, we can classify. Yeah. Lepro is the so simple type of lichens. That structure is so simple, and the castage is the another type of structure where found in lichen. That is the. Not simple but not complex. It is the a middle layer of uh, lichens and foliage is divided into homeomerous and heteromerous. That is two types. Homeomerous and heteromerous. Two types. What's homeomerous? The foliage type of like in where the fungal and algal bodies are mixed with homogeneously that is homeomerous not mixing with the homogeneously it is called the heterogeneous now there are five type of lichen found according to the basis of structure of lichen that is internal structure what is the internal structure of lichen internal structure Internal structures. There are so many part that found at the internal region of lichen. We put here. I put here. That is at top the upper layer. That is upper cortex.
नेक्स्ट द एल्कल जोन नेक्स्ट मेडुला मेडल नेक्स्ट द लोअर कॉटेक्स एंड लास्ट लेयर ऑफ द लाइक एम उइशी एंड द इंटरनल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ लाइक एम दैट इज राइजाइन फांगल बॉडी दैट्स मेडुला एंड लोअर कॉटिक्स मेड अप ऑफ बोथ टू ऑर्गेनिजम्स एंड राइजाइन आल्सो मेड अप ऑफ अंगल फिलामेंटस स्ट्रक्चर नाउ वी लर्न अबाउट द रिप्रोडक्शन ऑफ लाइक एम रिप्रोडक्शन Three type of reproduction found in ligands. That is, vegetative, vegetative, asexual, and sexual. Three type of reproduction found in ligands. Vegetative, the reproductions. By which the body parts are produced, the a daughter part of the body of lichens. That is the fragmentation. Fragmentation when the body of lichen is fragmented and throw out into the environment and produce the a daughter. Part of lichen is called the fragmentation. Next, the progressive death and decay. Progressive death and decay of the body. Suppose the lichen is there. The Gradually, the part is abolished by the a rooted structure, and it is so called a decaying part of the lichen. Some dead part can mix the separate type of daughter lichens. Now, it is. Dead damaging part of the lichens. Dead damaging part of lichen can produce the daughter organisms. Next, here I discuss that the asexual type of reproductions found in lichen. There are Peculiar type of spores found in lichens. Lichens made up of the two organisms that is, we know that is, algae and fungi. Both type of organisms can produce the spores. So, those type of spores can belong in the single body that is the lichen, according to the name of spores. So, the accessory production is. Determined by those type of spores, that is sodidia. Sodidia, sodid spores. Isidia and 
डाल तीन नोट डाल एक नोट एक नोट स्पोर्ट There are three types of spores found in the accessory portion of the lichen and sexually portions are made by the various type of organism that, that is Asunia Asconia that is the asco, Ascocarp like true body produce this type of sexual Repression organs and make the sexual repression positively. That is trichogyne. Trichogyne and apothecium. Apothecium. Pedithesium. Now, all the food bodies of the fungal structure when they produce the separate type of fungal bodies with the mixed of homogeneous algal bodies and mix the total bodies of lichens at the sexual repression phases. Now, we learn about the importance of lichen. The, benefit, the beneficial role of lichen. Beneficial role of lichen. That is, it is type of beneficial role can play by the lichen. That is, as food many animals take the lichen as food that is the reindeer reindeer found in the Eskimos Greenlands and the Tundra regions so the lichen is called the reindeer moss as fodder Lichen used as the fodder of the organisms and as medicine. Lichen used as the medicine, as the pudding production of medicines. Many type of medicine can be made by the lichens and die as die. Dynasty. Lichen used as the pigmentation equipment, pigmentation matter, materials of dynasty. And it is so important for the determination of the pollution. It is the very good indicators of pollution, that's ESO2 pollution. Is specifically ESO2 pollution, subadacid pollution can be determined with the lichens. When the lichens body is so green, it is the subadacid pollution is no harm on the environment. It is yellow, the some harmful effect holds on the environment by the ESO2 and when lichen body shows they are red color the iso2 pollution is out of control in the environment and the lead mass making lead mass the making of lead mass that is the indicator of acid base acid alkali materials is made by the lichens and Pollution indicator. Pollution indicator. So, so
so many positive role can be played by the lighting. Now, it is the last era of lighting we learn about. Now, we also learn about the virus. What is virus? Viruses. Viruses are the body which are not living, either not living or non, non living. When it pushed into host cells, their own host cells, they source their activities as a living thing. But when it is found in the outer environment of the host cells, it is source their non-living activities. Now, the, I will learn about the nature of viruses. What is the nature of virus? Nature of virus. There are two types of nucleotide, nucleic acid found in viruses. Only one type of nucleic acid can be found in the single viruses, either DNA or RNA. Both two types of nucleic acid cannot be found in the single part of viruses. It is the two types of viruses found in nature, that is intracellular and another is extracellular. intracellular and extracellular when the virus body is found outer of the outer part of the host cells it is the non-living materials is called the in extracellular but when it is found in the host cells it is called intracellular and in the host cells they can reproduce their uh, daughter by the uh, replications or other nucleic acid formation procedures and three the nature of viruses the most important nature of viruses is the most obligatory must obligatory body This must obligatory body or must obligatory parasite. Virus shows they are a living existence when they push in the host cell, otherwise, they cannot show they are a living. Possibilities in other environment. Now, what is the living features or characters of the viruses? Living features. Living features of viruses. When the virus pushed into the host cells, they show the living features. And these features are they can produce DNA to DNA, DNA to RNA, RNA to DNA, RNA. RNA. The nucleic acid formations is the features of the living things, so it is the living features of the viruses when it can be found in the host cells. Another is the mutation. The nucleic acid of 
viruses can be muted in the host cells. The mutation is the most important features of living features of viruses. Now, non-living non -living features of viruses. Viruses cannot source their living features outside of the host cells and virus cannot respond by the stimuli, any type of stimuli at the outside of host cells and no response at all outside of the living cells so it is the non-living matters and why virus is called the air cellular why virus is called air cellular because any type of cytoplasmic materials cannot found in virus body any type of metabolic reaction cannot found the virus functions virus functions any type of cell organelle that is mitochondria, body body, blasted, ribosome, lysosome, centrosome, etc. can form in virus bodies. And the protein synthesis, any cell, the least microcells have the 10 to 15 grams of protein can be produced by this type of cells, but this type of cells must be a volume as 0.1 millimicron. All of the viruses found in the world, the, those volumes are less than 0.1 millimicron. Micrometer, sorry, millimicron, micrometer. So they cannot produce the protein for the a metabolic creation of cells so it is the acellular bodies in environment now how many types of viruses are found that is according to the host cell that is Phycophagini that is plant attacking viruses that is Jufagini that is animal attacking viruses that is Phagini that is Phag bacteria attacking viruses that is Cyanophagini that is blue green algae attacking viruses that is Mycophagini that is Fungal attacking viruses, that is gymophagini, that is yeast attacking viruses. So many viruses found according to the attacking of virus uh, host body. Now, according to the present of nucleotide, they can be two types that is DNA virus or RNA virus. And according to the Structure of capsids. Structure of capsids. That is helical. One helical and polyhedral. Polyhedral. Helical are two types and synaptic. We learn about all of these features in the next process. Thank you.